So, like any other studio, we spent a lot of time talking about this. Stuff. Old models, new models, evolving models, how to improve models. When you really get down to it, all those models and all that complexity distills into two things. Make great movies, give it to people in as many ways as you possibly can. That's basically it. When you talk to people about what they want, the same thing comes back. They want a wide variety of choice. They want easy access to it. They want to be able to have it be convenient. They want to be able to control when and where and how they watch it. And they want to take it with them every chance they get. So choice, and access, convenience, control, portability. Also pretty basic. Basic enough that even a studio guy can understand it. So, but we don't do things that way. We have to think them through, right? So we go to our in-house technology department, our guru, our futurist, our technologist, give them the all ramifications, and this is how it affects this and that and this, and give them all the data. And I think we have a slide with the result. <laughs> so. Uh, rental opening of the video rental for, uh, for the Simpson movie. Um, actually, the real backstory is that when Steve came to us with this idea, it was a no brainer. It's just the most exciting, coolest thing we've ever heard. And, uh, and certainly, we still feel that way. Um, you know, VOD, video rentals, are not a new thing. You know, they're certainly available in other ways, they'll continue to be. People may make those choices. But there was music, and then there was the iPod. There was a phone, and then there was the iPhone. So, you know, Apple does things in a very intuitive, insightful, innovative, like a couple of I words left, but you get the idea, and now you're all here, so you understand. So, I think this will be a transformative version of, uh, of the rental model, and, and we're incredibly excited about it. Go back to that idea of giving people choices and options and ways of enjoying movies. That's kind of what we do. Um, there's another idea that we talked to um, Steve about and we've been working on for a while, which is which is DVD. And um, you know, DVDs will be with us for a while, especially now that the next generation format, uh, the Blu-ray, looks like. But um, right, that's what I thought too. Um, but, uh, you know, but people will still want to buy DVDs and enjoy the benefits of hard media, but we don't want to deny them the benefit of having that same movie available to them on their iPod and in their iTunes library and on Apple TV. So we developed a digital copy that will be on discs going forward. In fact, I happen to have a copy of the first one with me, again auspiciously today, coincidentally, it actually was. We, we actually planned this date a long time ago. It was the uh, DVD premiere of the Family Guy Blue Harvest uh, video, which is uh, Seth MacFarlane's hysterical take on his favorite movie, Star Wars, which George Lucas fortunately had a sense of humor about. And I, I think you'll, uh, you'll really enjoy it. But this contains a digital <coughs> copy, which you can instantly and easily move to your, uh, to your iTunes and to your iPod and to all of the cool <laughs> about this as well, but, but today is, uh, is for us at least, um, this exciting beginning of, uh, of uh, movie rentals uh, on iTunes, and, and we couldn't be happier and prouder of our partnership and our friendship, and, uh, and we look forward to bringing you a lot of exciting and potential to come, so thank you. Thank you.